Hey everyone and welcome to another Project Cars Online video and this is going to be showing sort of the negative side of the game in terms of races that you can have that aren't necessarily as clean as what you might hope them to be. Um, so yeah as you saw there at the very very start of the race that was a perfect example but you're going to see a lot of examples throughout the course of this video of what you may sort of expect or what you, you may have encountered in random lobbies you know sometimes if you join a random lobby with a lot of people and you just end up with people who don't know what they're doing or can't handle the cars that they're driving or something like that as you can see there you know re-entering the track without a care for who else is coming you know just generally causing causing incidents and causing accidents that you don't like to see and you know not all and the reason I'm making this video is because you know in all racing games in terms of online play as well and probably in all games at all really you know you are going to get this you know everybody can't be a competent racer all of the time and it, it it's frustrating to be in in a race like that but sometimes there's not a lot you can really do about it and you've just got to take the bad with the good and hopefully you'll get some good races uh, at the time you know from time to time i mean so yeah, it, it's pretty crazy. You know, this has been a terrible first lap already. I make a little bit of a comeback over the next few laps, but it doesn't really end there. Yeah, it, it, it's kind of, at least people aren't going backwards uh, around the track, but it, it's a, it's a, just as bad, really. You know, I it, mean, it's, it's pretty bad what happens. You know, people just slowing down randomly in the middle of the track, you know, turning randomly. These cars were quite difficult to drive um, in terms of, when you got sort of in the higher rev ranges the table would kick in on these old formula one cars and and yeah they, they, they were reasonably difficult to drive if you didn't have all of the assists on but i would imagine that you know a lot of people would have the assists on and we had a qualifying session before this so it wasn't as if we did you know people didn't have the chance to practice with the cars beforehand and you you see that you know the the gaps between cars you know I even me being way behind at this point I end up lapping people in this race so yeah it was it was pretty crazy and this was actually a stream race so that kind of signifies why we had such a bad experience because every I've only streamed project cars twice now but both times that I've done it we've had races like this you know I've got into the habit with GTA of just letting anybody join random lobbies and, and just expecting to have decent races and you can't really have that because people are just not on the same level or they're, they're causing issues and some part of it is people wanting to be on the stream or wanting to be you know on camera if you like stream whores who, who just want just just want to see themselves on the stream or something like that that, that you get that as well so I'm not going to be streaming project cars like this anymore, you know, in terms of random lobbies. I'll save that for proper events that we do, and, and I think that's where you get the most fun out of a game like this as well, really. You know, proper organised events where you're racing properly with other people who, who all have the same sort of goal to also race properly and just get some good racing out of it. So, yeah, I'm... I'm I'm definitely not going to be streaming like this with project cars because it's just it's just too too much. I mean, you can you can kind of get away with it a little bit on GTA, you know. If someone makes a mistake on GTA or they're not quite as quick or not quite as good, then you can kind of get away with it because you you don't suffer as much from being knocked off in GTA as you would on something like this. And I suppose that the the gap in performance between people on GTA especially the people who would be in my stream and watching my videos isn't quite as high you know because everybody knows how to race to at least some degree uh, but then you come onto project cars with some you know difficult cars and yeah it, it, it's a bit wider the skill gap let's say and you know someone this guy's in last place at this point and he's, he's just got I don't know what's causing him to go so slowly he, I don't know whether he's got a mechanical problem or something um, but he's going off everywhere and he just re-enters the track in stupid places and people are getting together and, and causing incidents and people are getting lapped and the, those lapped cars are causing incidents it's just a total nightmare and I'm already up into sixth place at this point after that absolutely horrific lap that I had 
it's just it's totally crazy the the sort of things that you get happening on these stream races so yeah and, and I, you know i wanted to make this video to kind of show you the other side of it you know sometimes you may get races like this even if it isn't in somebody's stream or it's it's uh, it might just be a random lobby for example a random race where not all random lobbies that you join and not all races that you participate in are going to be the cleanest that we've seen in, in even in previous videos of this series already so you know you are going to get races like this if you're on a game and, and that's the same for every kind of racing game really and you, you, it's just something that you have to go with you know you, you kind of pay the price for trying to race properly by ending up in some races like this but you just hope that it isn't going to be too much and again here this is just ridiculous you know the guy turns into me completely um, he, he was also in the stream in the stream chat and and he was a lapped traffic as well and it's like you know what is he doing you know why why just what are you even here for if, if you're going to be doing stuff like that you know it's just it's a total it's a total nightmare sometimes doing these stream races so yeah I think uh, I think me live streaming project cars isn't going to be happening all that often apart from outside you know outside of organized events anyway but hopefully you know the 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 racing school that's now returned that will be more about race craft so hopefully we'll be able to fix a few of these issues and people can learn as they go you know i can understand people aren't necessarily as good at the game as everybody else but it, it, there comes a point where some of the things that you see in videos like this are just absolutely crazy and when you've got people just basically wanting to be on a stream um and and that doing doing that sort of thing it's it, it, it makes a total farce of it so yeah that hopefully hopefully we'll have some, we, there is a good race to come in the next episode of this series that actually happened at the very end of the stream um so but that that's back with the genetic juniors that are a lot easier to drive and i would say that you do find that the easier the car is to drive you know the the, the better time you'll have on it so i suppose i'll leave with a few tips you know a few easy tips um if if you are in a race like this and you're one of the slower guys just be aware of people coming behind you if you're spinning out all of the time try to give a bit more space to people uh, if you're getting lapped just give space to people coming through don't re-enter the track don't, don't make it your priority to just re-enter the track if you get knocked off wait for other cars to go past first otherwise you're just going to cause another accident uh, and if, you, if you're in this lobby and you're one of the guys near the front and you, you, you know, you're reasonably quick Again, it's probably more about trying to give a bit more space, realizing that there's some people who are going to be causing you issues and are going to get lapped, and and just trying to deal with it as best you can and try to get a reasonable result. And don't necessarily always be always be pushing for the win because it may be luck that that means that you don't get it in a race like this. So yeah, it was a bit of an interesting one. This one, I wanted, like I say, I wanted to make this video just to show the other side of it and things like you know this is the sort of thing that you may end up in if you're in a random lobby but it, you know that, that's that's the sort of thing that you get uh the next episode of this series will be a little bit more fun a little bit more of a proper race let's say so yeah thank you so much for watching guys i really do appreciate it i hope to do some proper events with project cars very soon and really sort of get into it properly that way as well rather than just random races like this so thanks a lot for watching everyone i really do appreciate it leave all your thoughts down below and i'll see you next time